three and one of the teammate all separated from each other. Quite end game at this point. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, this is the first engagement we have for a, a, a large time. Uh, it's just my sick six fighting some medieval archers. And I'm not too worried here. There's one in my cannon that's not only dead. So just just kind of, kind of keep that then out of the I'm building a mini base. As you can see, my six are doing quite well against the archers. And once the archers are down, that will set them to start destroying some of the buildings. Don't know how good they'll be there. Here, a convoy of light cannons starts coming in. And they don't stop and fight for some reason. Instead, they just keep going. So, my nan is as we also went in here, um, are both destroying these light cannons as they move past. This is though was quite a few of that. Then we all go and destroy the buildings. Isn't this the biggest no, another big engagement and lots of these engagements are large and drawn out. And it's mostly fighting blue on there and on the enemy team. As he's gone Germany, big burpers, I'm pushing with some vision. And I've got my elephant mortars and elephant machine guns uh, pushing forward to try and deal with the um, forward base here. And there is burpers. So the sick, sick, uh, Nuri six fall back. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. And here. I just keep moving my elephants through. I I I don't know if uh, elephant mortars and so on are good at all. As you can see, none of the one of those mortars are good for the rest missed. Uh, the elephant's also going to cut the machine gun fire. But uh, as in the stream yesterday, the very last match. Uh, elephants get put down by all sorts of range, as you can see they're just getting slaughtered by the machine guns. So slow. You'd think an elephant would move faster than an average human, but they don't, so it's one of their problems. Yeah, there's a few big burpers here and they're just sniping out there. That attack was a complete failure, didn't do anything except for one destroyed in the university. It doesn't really make sense. At this point, my vision is doing a little bit better. Building factories to get Imperial Durgas out. And Nuri is pushing back an attack sent on him by the Germany player. Here is a second army of just elephant mortars, which does a lot better than, than with machine guns. Um, I'll try to use this uh, wood line to create a little bit of blockade so the burpers uh, can't see, as if, as if um, as in they don't have vision on me. So my mortars are hitting them slightly tender. I've got 20 elephants here. As you can see, my economy is showing. I've been recruiting a lot of elephants recently. First volley of purpose fires, no elephants die. I think I'll lose one elephant very soon. And I'm, I'm just going to keep moving. Because the elephant markers do fire on me. I should probably have gone around the top and destroyed these buildings. Or not with the elephant mortars at all, just, just on normal mortars, as they're a much smaller target. Elephants are just a massive target, really. There's this many birds. That's not the reason he's going to manage to get an entry. My food economy is doing well, and an enemy has built a wonder. I've lost an elephant. Three, 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 three
were considering the recent flavors at this point, but they were announced with machine guns. The birthers are wasting time firing the infantry while my mortars do damage to them. Economy is doing very well. I should have got some um, more population space so I can get more workers. Ten, fifteen more workers. Maybe. His economy was um, hurt quite badly uh, in the late medieval age by the light magic. And uh, he was just getting his bed. It's Germany. Both me and Nuri went India. I did not like India. I don't play much Asia anyway, so. Uh, first of all, seeing as how inaccurate the names are. And the elephants have so much population space, so it's a bit of a problem. I've started making out of machine guns again. Maybe I was hoping they'd be a bit more damage to the burn because it's more consistent with the burn. I should have just kept moving with my. Uh, more uh, elephants at this point, just push right into the formation, but you can run past them. The best thing to do probably here is, as you can see, the heavy knights here taking out my vision. And the machine guns uh, even die to the heavy knights, which I find frustrating as uh, medieval knights should be able to kill armored elephants with machine guns in them. But it is what it is. And the best thing to do here would have been to send um, 20 elephant, mortar elephants uh, straight into his base as there was a point where we could get him quite easily, that wasn't defended very well. I defended at all even. And uh, communication with my team is uh, really important. As you can see, uh, this is the drawing of the fight I'm on the back. Those factories there because uh, German factories are so expensive. Right now, I'm just getting some Fury of Durgas to get rid of his economy using that secret route I was talking about before. I think I probably could have got away with using the elephants to flank him. Uh, the only problem is um, that uh, Nuri just didn't, I couldn't sustain an army to defend against this jump out of well. Seeing as there isn't much land, we don't have much land. And Nuri's economy was hurt quite badly in the early game. As you can see I'm just getting my iron mines up and stuff. I should probably have taken some workers off of iron onto wood. But I did not think about that, so yeah. Also, I do not like how um, fishing boats cannot be upgraded to trawlers as Western Asia. It's really annoying. But you have to live with that until it gets changed. It gets changed. And purpose birthers are attacking me now to go try to get the one soon, as it's only got thir it's got 30 minutes, I believe. So. I ha still haven't had IR2. Hey. But yeah, as you can see, that there's a little choke point we can use from right the south of the map to remove his base to get into his um, economy and just straight to his town hall. There's an unguarded path we really should have made a good use of. Because if we killed Blue, we would have. Lost. We, we, we would have easily done this. Because um, Grey has this whole economy on building the towers. Building uh, artillery towers is taken, so he hasn't made any armor. Uh, 
we probably could have used planes to snipe out because we still have 25 minutes. If we quickly ran through that. As you can see, I'm trying to get my uh, teammate to kill their wonder, but he goes for orange instead. Which isn't a bad idea, but one less enemy. But yeah, this now Nuri has his own mortars to help out destroy this base. And as you can see the action, they're drawn out long batteries of low damage. So fire rates. But we are pushing them back a little bit. The fury of Davis is uh, out now and they're going to Nuri's base. And they go all the way through the right here and straight into his uh, economy. And I do manage to kill a fair few of his workers. As you can see, Purple's uh, berthers are moving in with some machine gun support. And you can see the artillery towers, which we did not know about very much about at this point. But he managed to spam them massively. As you can see, we've also managed to um, destroy his factories. Almost the minimum. Only um, to run past the enemy and get to their, um, to their town hall, sorry. And as you can see, the Fury of Durgus has reached his iron, one of his iron mine, iron pits, and the tigers start attacking. I'm halfway up to the second industrial revolution as well. I don't know how well those tigers do exactly, but. I don't think he knows this is the first time. We start releasing more tigers here. Is this woodline economy? Uh, tigers don't live very long once they're released. Once they're released, they die quite quickly. And as soon as they come out, they don't uh, attack straight away. They wait. As you can see, they're already half dead just from their uh, waiting. At this point, I'm just trying to find the uh, economy to hurt. And as you can see, I've just reached the perimeter defenses. And look how many shots are being fired at from artillery towers. And this is the third key player. As you can see, you can spam towers to the point where you can't even get past. I'm also trying to kill off as many workers as I can. There's a few workers here, which um, managed to make quick work on tigers and uh, trucks. I make a few more to try and turn the economy again. It's not that effective the second time because he's got some machine guns, but still pretty useful. That last worker died before we could finish that tower. These guys are almost dead. And I just tried to get in between his towers, but my targets died. Anyway. I think India was good at one point, but with the amount of counters they have now, it's they're not as powerful. But I haven't tried them out that much, so... I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Here, Orange has died to the... Um, Bertha Rush, sorry. My, my, my line left then. Here we push. We were pushed back massively again by the Berthas from blue. And, uh, the, yeah, there's a substantial amount of Berthas there, and I've only got a few elephants left. I should probably have just stack them. Just not very good. He's also got some rangers uh, to counter his six. I, I, I really don't know how you say that. <laughs> but yeah. As you can see, the Berthas are winning most of their engagements here. And you can have a single alligator kill a handful of my workers there. My food economy is not doing well again. I do have, I have hit IR2 here, 
an elephant upgrade that I uh, get my hands on and I start thinking about making real tanks to try get to its town hall I should have done but well I didn't so here the big berthers are pushing in and they managed to get rid of one of the towers with ease, absolute ease. But there's the amount of towers. At this point, you know, has a large amount of uh, machine gunners. But, uh, sorry, not machine gunners, workers, trench workers. I get my second crew of Durgas, crew of Durgas in here. Two are really badly damaged, one's full health, he died. And there's so many. Earth is here and I don't have an army and I'm building airfields to try and um, stop uh, the birth is getting to my base as at this point and there's there's no armies anywhere to help out as you can see that the more birthers are making short work of these towers and more things. And my world economy has disappeared because I started training uh, soldiers, which they call soldiers. Uh, but 11 soldiers aren't going to realistically do anything. I find his iron again, kill, kill off as many as I can, try to get rid of his trawlers. I opened my gate that was there to protect him from early on rushes. He does start repairing the wall, but he's just delaying the inevitable. My soldiers do get here, but I do just try to snipe out the damage further. Without that there's isn't much I can do. And then, I don't know what he was doing here with his workers. He took them all off of food and started m moving them down. And my tigers, I send them straight after them. They've been making good use of the distraction. Okay, the last few six the soldiers are still here fighting. They're not able to do very much. He's building housing at the front line for some reason. And here we realise we didn't have a good team because they all died with the 10-15 minutes of the game. So most of them didn't even reach medieval, and most of them were new players. Here are uh, showing you the extent of his defences. As you can see, that's one tank mouse, and it's getting absolutely destroyed. He does have a kind of colossal, which I thought if he got his uh, tank closer, maybe he would be able to um, shoot his town hall with the cannon colossal, but the cannon colossal can't even shoot them. Here, um, the birthers start getting rid of towers and my recruiting capabilities. I start rushing my workers up as soon as possible. Because I'm trying to delay the inevitable so that I think uh, my ally can do as much damage as he can and maybe get their work. This one is on six, the six one is left of the game. Berthas did get a nerf, and they're not as good as they were before. They're a really good counter to um, India, as India, from my experience, doesn't have very much armor piercing damage. Okay, save my wood economy so I can get elephants and rocket launchers. Maybe I save myself just for a short amount of time so I can help in whatever way. But I get a few Fury of Durgas that I was training, I can't remember what reason. And they were pretty much useless as well, as they barely got anywhere. 
and they didn't have many tigers stored up in them anyway, because the tigers stored up um, slowly. And I try to make as many as I can to get them inside and in the tanks, the berthers, so they maybe they friendly fire each other a little bit, but I think I only managed to kill one berthers for friendly fire. And then they just completely ignore the tigers. vision on me at this point and tower support so even if I do push him back I can't revive my bomb very well. Uh, planes and uh, got, planes got some vision and you can see the amount of towers. They really should have a <laughs> some sort of cap on how many you can build. And it was just another long drawn out battle I lost and that's the end of the game. So thank you everyone for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.